In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a throwing boulder or part in Roblox Studio. So, the first thing you want to do, I would say, is make the boulder or the part. I'm just going to make... I'm just going to make this. 10 by 10 by 10. You can decorate as much as you want. I'm just going to make this concrete. There we go. And that's done. You can name this what you want. I'm just going to name it boulder. You then want to add a remote event inside of replicated storage and just name it what you want. I'm going to name it boulder event and this is just the event that will happen when this is thrown or when you click to throw it. Now into server script service we're going to add a script and we'll, we'll do that in a minute. We'll add another script Instead of starter player, starter character scripts. I'm going to add a lo local script. I'm just going to call this detect boulder throw. And in this one, we're going to write this. A local event, which is just a variable. You can make this whatever you want, as long as it equals this, the same with this one, and the same with this one. I've just done UIS, user input service. Mouse, that's going to be the actual, like this, the mouse. And then this is for whatever key you want it to be. It could be E, it could be B for boulder, it could be F, anything you want to do. I was going to do E because E is used quite a lot. And then event is going to fire the server, and that is event. That event is the event I was talking about in replicated storage. This one. So yeah, and that's the bold event, which is this. Okay, so we are then going to go into this one, which we're going to call create boulder, which is going to create the boulder, so it can. Be fine. And you, if you just want to type this, okay. For this script, if you just want to type in all of this, if you want to pause and type in, so that will be like the top half down to boulder set network event, and then this is just the last bit down here. So yeah, if you want to pause that and write that in. So the different things you can change is this, the amount of seconds. So that's 30 seconds until debris appears. I, th I think most of this should be kept the same, but obviously the events, so the, the variables, you can change this to whatever you want, as long as it equals to that. Same with this, player on cooldown. I'll keep it as this, because it's just nice and simple. Tween, tween service, simple. So yeah, I would just keep it as... as basic as possible so then you can remember it and it's easier and then take damage obviously you can do it I've just done half health because I think it's it's easier but again if you want it to be really powerful do 100 99 or if you want it to be almost like little so you have to do loads of them do 5 10 maybe yeah so that should be it Okay, so we're gonna give this a go, and it hasn't worked, but I think I know what's happened. I think if we have to put this boulder into the script inside service script service. I don't know what you called it, but the create boulder one. So if we play now, it should work. Okay, so now if we test it, there we go. A boulder appears, and there's one over there. There we go, and it can attack people and you can do what you want. You can increase the size so it goes all the way up and stuff, but that's up to you. And these are anchored so you can push them and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Right, so if you in if this video helped at all, make sure to give a like, comment and subscribe. This is a, it's a small channel, so any any help will good will be be much appreciated by us if you subscribe, like, comment, anything, please.
even with you in the video. I much appreciate it. And if you want new, more videos like this, want to know how to make a game, comment down below and I will, I'll give it a go. Thanks for watching. See ya.